Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at the on conflict clause of the insert statement. I'm going to show you how it can branch between doing nothing and doing an update statement. Hope you enjoy this video. Before we dive deep into this demo, let's make sure that we're on the same version or at least close to it. Notice I'm using 14.1. Now I'm going to delete, drop those tables because I've actually done this demo several times, perfecting it just for you. And now I'm going to start with create table site. Imagine page, control, and a counter. Look at this grid. I have a control here, control here, and a control down here. Every time a user clicks on any one of these zones, I want to add it to the counter. So that's what this table is all about. So I'm going to create that table. Perfect. And now I have three different ways of doing the same job. And you just need to pick one that resonates best with you. So on the first example, note I'm saying if not exist, and then a select statement. And if it comes back as null, I'm going to do an insert statement. If this does not return null, returns X, then I'm going to keep doing the update. Let's do this statement several times. Uh, I just executed it, and now we should just have the one. Notice we're at one. And now when I execute it like three or four more times, you'll see I'll be doing the update statement. So one, two, three, four. So the value should be at five, right? Excellent. So example one, done. Now example two, notice I took out the word not, and then I swapped the update and the insert. So in the previous one, insert was up here and update down here. Let's execute this several times as well. This will only ever do lines 38 to 41. One, two, three, four. And let's uh, go and uh, do a select statement here. See what we got. And now we're at nine. In our last example, notice I say declare half record as record. Record represents an entire row. So I'm saying select into have record star all the columns into here if and only if the page ID 1000 and control ID equals one is there. Now, if this record does not exist, then this will be null. If that is null, it will do the insert statement. If it is not null, I'm going to be, keep doing the update. Notice here, my record is called have record 68 set counter equal half record dot the name of our column plus one. Let's do this several times as well. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll show you the rows, the values, and notice that we're up to 14. And there you have kind of like the old way of doing things, but we have a lot of control. So this type of technology is still used quite a bit. In our next example, I'm going to say insert into that same table site, but I'm going to be using the on conflict clause for page ID and control ID. Notice here, 1001, if this already exists, I'm going to do the update. So on conflict, you know, does this exist already? Then do the update. And then I'm going to say counter equals site, the name of my table, counter plus one. This is a beautiful statement, right? But there's a problem with how we define this table. Let's take a look. Notice when I created the table, I did not create a primary key or at least a unique index. And this is just a straight up table with no constraints. When I execute this statement, you're going to see the error that it will create. Notice there is no unique or exclusion constraint matching the on conflict specification. So if I come down here and say alter table, add a constraint, this is my constraint name, make it unique on these two columns, things should work. So let's go try and do it now. Notice 15, 16, 17, 18. You can see the conflict is true, so I'm going to do the do update, right? And that is example one of on conflict. On my next example, I have to remove all the data. We're kind of going to start over. And we've had to insert many rows into a table. And you'll see here, I'm going to say insert into site values. And then notice we have four rows. 
If you zoom in on here, you'll notice 1001, 1001, 1 and 1. Ooh, we got dupes. You remember creating a unique index on those two columns, so this will fail. And when I execute this statement, that's exactly what we got. Duplicate key violates unique constraint index unique site. This is the name I came up with. So this is no good. How do we fix this? Notice we say insert into site values. Look, we still have our dupes, but then we use the on conflict for that page ID and control. Notice 1011, 1011. That's a conflict. What am I saying to do? I'm saying do nothing. So this will be success. This will fail. Fail comes down and does nothing. Then success, success. Let's run this. And there's our input. This right here is very powerful. I wish I had had this a long time ago. And there you have it, team. And there you have the insert on conflict, either do nothing or do an update. Isn't it amazing either do an update or do an insert statement? It's a big problem. You know, there's a lot of people working in the loading data into databases. Now data is becoming more and more important. So having this skill is the old feather in the cap. So I recommend you master this skill and uh, make sure you have that feather. And there we have it, team, another video. I appreciate your time, your support, supporting me by watching my videos. Love that. Uh, comments, thumbs up, and subscribing. You're great. I'll see you back in my next video. Have a great week.